this is our next set of equations. Here again, we see only the x is in the denominator. While there's no problem of y, the y is in already in the numerator. So we need just to substitute for x. So here again, we do separate the coefficient from the variable. Here there's no problem. So I just write 3y equal to 14. Here again, 3, 1 by x, separate the coefficient from the variable, minus 4y equal to 23. Then we say let 1 by x be equal to say a. So here we'll have 4, 1 by x. Now for, we need to substitute for 1 by x as a. So wherever there is 1 by x, we get it out and we will put here as a. Here to 1 by x, we need to get that out and we need to put this a. So our new equations now are 4a plus 3y equals 14 and here 3a minus 4y equals 23. Time to now take the LCM. Now here equate the coefficients. So there's 4 and there is 3. So the LCM of 4, 3 is 12. So each of the coefficients have to be made 12. So 4a plus 3y equal to 14. To make this 12, I need to multiply here by 3. So 4 into 3 will become 12. So this becomes 12a plus 9y equal to, here it is 42. And for the next equation, this is 3a minus 4y equal to 23. I need to make it 12, so multiply this by 4. So here we will have 12a minus 16y equals, and this is 92. We'll write these as equation. We'll put this, this one was our equation 1 here. This was equation 2. We'll put this as equation 3 and equation 4. Now these equations, the coefficients have been made equal. This is 12 and this is also 12. So the equations are ready for subtraction. So 3 minus 4. So write 12a plus 9y equals 42. Here 12a minus 16y equals 92. Now we'll subtract these equations. So you have minus, plus, minus becomes plus, and plus becomes minus. So on subtraction, here we'll get 12 and 12 will cancel out. Here we will have plus. So now here we have 25y equal to minus 50. And the y will be minus 50 over 25 y is minus 2. Now this y equal to minus 2, we substitute in when any one equation. Maybe we will substitute in this equation and find the value of x. So we go ahead. This was our first equation given to us, 4 by x, 3, and we have found out the value of y is minus 2. So we put y equal to minus 2, equal to 14, and we go ahead and solve it. 4 over x minus 6 equals 14. 4 over x equals to 14 plus 6. 4 over x equals 20. We cross multiply and we say 4 over 20 equals x. So x equals 1 by 5. So for the answers, we have x 1 by 5. And then we have y equal to minus 2.